Officials this morning are assessing the damage from a pair of tornadoes in northern Texas. The twisters hit yesterday evening, one south of Dallas. The other struck about 80 miles to the east. The twister south of Dallas blew the roof off a school, overturned railroad cars, destroyed a baseball field, and damaged nearby homes. Some injuries are reported. None, though, are thought to be serious. CBS News correspondent Don Teague is in Rice, Texas this morning with details. Don, good morning. Good morning, Erica. This is the tornado that hit south of Dallas. That is what's left of the baseball field you mentioned. If you can see in the background, the workers, those are rail workers who are putting 11 rail cars that were blown off the tracks back on. This is a piece of the roof from the high school that's about 100 yards from here. This storm caused quite a bit of damage as it came through here about 5.30 yesterday afternoon. The good news that was that it was a Sunday, and despite the fact that this storm came right through where all of the schools in Rice are, the elementary, the middle school, and the high school, it's a time when there weren't people here. So despite the damage, there were only non-life-threatening injuries. We're told most of those injuries were on the interstate, which is just about half a mile from here as cars swerved to try to miss the tornado when it crossed the freeway. Uh, they had traffic accidents and were received some minor injuries there. Authorities here and in Lone Oak, Texas are going to spend the day assessing the rest of the damage. It'll be easier when the light is up, but we know of several homes that were damaged and again, only minor and non-life-threatening injuries here in Texas from two pretty frightening tornadoes. Erica? Yeah, and that is some good news, especially when you look at the damage that they were only minor. Don Teague in Rice, Texas this morning. Don, thanks.